police accidentally end up at wrong house, read ornaments entry and call the station. Two police officers from Ohio who accidentally ended up in the wrong house found something heartwarming inside. As they realized that they had gone to the wrong address, the police officers saw the Christmas tree that the homeowner had put up. Then, something caught their eye. Partner and I accidentally went to the wrong address today on a run and stumbled across this beautiful tree, one of the officers wrote on the Facebook group Ohio Going Blue. The owner took the time to write down every officer killed in the line of duty this year and place it on the tree. Not only did she do all the humans but she included all the canines on the small ornaments. She calls it the tree of honor guess our paths were meant to cross since she just finished it last night. An image was posted on Ohio Going Blue's Facebook page by one of the officers, who preferred to remain anonymous. The picture which was shared on social media more than 600 times and has acquired over 2,000 likes, displays the silver and blue ornaments on the tree, each with an officer's name on it. When the picture was posted, the readers were taken over by this heartwarming moment, and many congratulated her way of paying tribute to fallen officers. Wow! That is one awesome woman. The tree is beautiful, but I think it has enough ornaments on it. Hoping she doesn't have to add any more. Gloria Skipworth commented on Ohio Going Blue's Facebook page. Such a beautiful tribute it's unfortunate we live in a world with so much hatred for law enforcement but seeing things like this tree makes me believe that there are people in this world that do respect law enforcement, Mike Jones wrote. The positive comments continued. What an amazing thing to do. I pray she doesn't ever have to add another ornament to it. May God bless and protect all officers and their K9S, Debbie Ut wrote. Wow. Dot, dot, how extraordinary and what a wonderful thing for her to do. Dot, dot, hope and pray no more ornaments are created now or at any time in the future, Liza Kasson wrote. This number of downed officers is why if my husband was still a police officer when I met him I would never have married him. My heart goes out to all the hero families, Kathleen Hillman Larry wrote. God bless her and all of our officers, those who have made the ultimate sacrifice and those presently serving, Karen Moran wrote. According to the Washington Post, in 2016, 144 law enforcement officers passed away in the line of duty. The Capitol hosted a National Peace Officers Memorial to remember and honor the fallen and pay their respects to the families, friends, but also survivors. The woman who had decorated the tree thought about every fallen officer, giving them one last commemoration. It was a very beautiful thing to do, especially considering she didn't have any relationship with the fallen officers. In addition to that, she included the fallen canines and added some extra ornaments to her Christmas tree to pay her respects to the puppies. It's almost like the tree of honor was meant to be seen by the two Ohio police officers. Although they preferred to remain anonymous, they definitely wanted to share how touched they were with this person's thoughts and how they all shared this very heartwarming moment. It is definitely an experience that these Ohio police officers will never forget and a memory they will cherish forever.